Good morning creators and welcome to another UEFN tutorial. In this episode I'm going to show you how to use decals to create sprays and graffiti in your maps. First you're going to open up add to project, visual effects, and a decal actor. You want to move it close to the ground so they will appear on the ground like that. And it has a default texture. You probably don't want this texture so to, do, to create your own texture you're going to open up material, create a material. Just gonna make a default name for that. Open it up, closing this one. And before you do anything, you gotta open up this node and set the material domain to deferred decal. And blend mode, you'll notice it has an error right now. Uh, blend mode needs to be translucent, modulate, or alpha composite. Uh, I'm just gonna use translucent because that's pretty basic. And you can import textures onto this to be shown on the map. For example, if I want to have my logo, I'm going to connect the RGB to base color. And that'll show up. Let's go ahead and apply that. And you'll see my logo appears on the ground. Now there are probably some settings that can make it more contrasted and less reflective. Um, for example, I could turn metallic down roughness up. So if I want to add roughness, I can add a value. Set that to one and you'll see it's a little bit more rough there's still some issues but I'm not using that texture at the moment so I don't need to worry about it if I wanted to maybe map a maybe like a terrain kind of texture I can open up my terrains pull that in and get my base color my normal and my various nodes here. This might be flipped, I might be doing this wrong, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just gonna apply that. And you'll see, we've got our terrain right there. And you can move it around, you can map it against walls, and you can rotate it so that it will easily map. Um, so it, while I recommend keeping it at a certain location, um, you can always, change the rotation and you can also change the scale so if you want to make it really large you can or you should be able to um, there we go yeah you should probably lock it first and with a scale you can actually include the scale at which it will map so for example the bit this box is a much bigger now um, but I can also decrease the box so that it has to be a lot smaller um, this could be useful if you have really tight spaces and you're adding decals uh, or if you don't want to have to move it down, you can increase the X. Um, there's also some features within the decal details. For example, sort order. If you have multiple decals overlaying at once, you can open that up. And the, the larger the sort order, the more it's going to be on top. So, for example, if I had another one here and it's at sort order 1, this one would be on top and the sort order 1 would be below because this one's at 4. Fade screen size is going to be how much it fades. And I believe fade start delay, duration, fade in duration, and fade in start delay are, can be used to create animated decals. So if you want to have an impact create this cracked ground uh, that fades out, you can add that to a, to a cinematic sequence and it will fade in and then fade out. Uh, right now, of course, it's at zero, so it's just going to stay that way. Stay that way. And you can include destroy owner after fade so that it will just no longer render in. Um, of course, it'll still be in the engine, but when you're playing, it'll be gone forever. Um, decal size, of course, you can increase the decal size here as well as well as the scale. Um, so if you're just increasing the decal size, I mean, it looks like it does the exact same thing anyways, so this isn't bad. Um, of course, you can make it visible. You got usual settings here, but that's how you use decals in the Unreal Editor. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, uh, leave a suggestion for a tutorial down below, and I hope you all have an amazing day. Good luck creating.